Jimmy. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about a body of water that makes up the New, uh, New York, makes up part of the New York uh, archipelago. It's uh, a body of water that uh, is about four miles long, and I want you to imagine what it looked like in the past, because this is what it looks like now. Yeah, uh, during the Industrial Revolution, it was uh, completely contained and bulwarked. Uh, there are no natural uh, feeders into this, this uh, body of water any, anymore. And in the 1950s, it experienced the largest uh, oil spill underneath it. Uh, in American history, twice the size of the Exxon Valdez. So we decided we wanted to put a boat club there. Um, <laughs> and that's what we're doing. Right on the shores of this, uh, at, at the mouth of this, um, uh, this body of water, we have an interim site. And we are hosting projects there um, to uh, get people on the water, but also to get information out of the water. And one of those projects uh, here, Sorry. So here's here's our site uh, when it was first donated to us uh, before we um, uh, started clearing it out. It's right underneath the Pulaski Bridge on the north. This is on the north end of Brooklyn. For those of you that don't don't know the, the neighborhood, uh, so here we're looking south. Um, so in terms of community activism, we just got together a bunch of people and uh, had a work party. Uh, Leaf was there. And we started uh, clearing it out, and uh, just actually went through hand by hand, picking out the uh, the pieces of garbage and plastic. It was like the uh, the, the Earth equivalent of the uh, Pacific garbage patch, I guess. Um, and uh, then we kicked it back with the <laughs> and, and had a party. Uh, so we're having a uh, our idea is to. Um, is to activate the community as well in so, social uh, situations. But one of the projects we're doing, oh my, that didn't translate as well, is a thing called the Newtown Creek Armada. They're building uh, remote control boats that will have uh, cameras on and below the water that uh, even the public can uh, control around the creek and record what's in the creek. Here we are uh, out in our canoe serve, uh, guard dogging the first first outing so that none of the boats got lost. Uh, this is in Whale Creek, one of the first uh, tributaries off of Newtown Creek. Uh, and so they're, they're uh, working on that. Another thing that we're working on is with the Newtown Creek Alliance, they want to make uh, mushroom, uh, oil-eating mushroom booms to float because we're still having oil come up uh, from this, this spill. Uh, for those of you that don't haven't seen the oil in uh, mushroom inoculated booms. This is one example of what they can look like. And so we're going to be hosting that from our site, deploying them from the, our site, and uh, using our canoes and kayaks to place them out. Another thing that's happening is Sarah Durand at Long uh, LaGuardia Community College is uh, studying uh, the life that's already present in the creek. And uh, those of you that don't know, there's this, uh, with some of the money from uh, penalties that have been levied against Newtown Creek businesses. Uh, we have a small thing called the Na Newtown Nature Walk that has some little bit of uh, wetlands incorporated into it. And so they're recording some of the, the life that's already coming back in these little tiny patches of wetlands. And so they're recording that constantly and, uh, and have put forth a proposal to actually make a major wetlands restor restoration um, to help give them a hold. Even right below our site, we have these mussels that are coming back. Uh, they even just this little mature male mushroom, uh, mushroom mussel uh, filters 50 liters of water a day. So if we can give them uh, more places to grab on on the bulkheads, on the sides of the bulkheads, we can uh, achieve some pretty major changes. Uh, so this is one of the proposals that we're hoping to put forward instead of uh, this bubbler system that's been proposed, which somebody else may talk about tonight. Uh, so we invite you to come down and kick back and uh, just look at the water and see what ideas that you might have or what might spring forth. It's a really great community, and it's a really great uh, access point. And uh, please come join us.